Back in 2020, when Mercedes-Benz launched the EQC in India, it became a trendsetter of sorts because it was the first electric vehicle from a luxury brand in India. Cut to 2023, now the company has an EV in almost every segment. Yes, we have the family-friendly EQB, then you have the flagship EQS, and more recently has arrived this, the Mercedes-Benz EQE 500 4MATIC SUV. The company claims that this is sort of bridges the gap between the two electric vehicles and can be a do-it-all EV. But can it though? Let's find out in this video. But before we move ahead in this video, if you haven't subscribed to Car & Bike already, do hit that subscribe button and do not forget to press the bell icon. Now, the EQE is based on the same EVA platform as the EQS. So you'll see the same family traits over here. Up front, you have the large black panel grille with the large three-pointed star at the center and smaller ones around it. Signature Mercedes EQ design. Then you have the LED light bar that goes end to end. And what you see on either side are new digital light headlamps. Now, these combined come with 2.6 million pixels that accurately illuminate the road for you. Then you have the automatic adaptive high beam lights as well, which adjust the intensity and angle of the light as per the oncoming traffic. So you do not have to worry about blinding the oncoming cars. On the sides, you get a set of nice flush fitted door handles, which can be opened like this. Then you get a set of nice 20 inch alloy wheels. Uh, these are aerodynamically optimized, so they aid both in performance and efficiency. And then you have a pretty good ground clearance. This is about 150 mm, but if that's not enough, this comes with aromatic suspension that further raises this by 25 mm. And if that's not enough to convince you it's an SUV, Mercedes also offers this illuminated aluminium finish running board. And yes, these are functional. At the rear, you get these set of beautiful LED 3D tail lights, which look very classy, which are connected by these LED bars. But when you look at the boot space, you get a massive 520 liters of luggage area. Of course, this is covered by the spare wheel, but it should be enough for your weekend getaways. But if you want more space, just topple down the second row seats and you'll have enough space to fit even three golden retrievers over here. In terms of size, the EQE sits somewhere between the GLC and the GLE, and the design is more like a crossover than an SUV. However, the EV does offer a pretty good wheelbase of 3030 mm, which translates to good cabin space. Even though you'll be spending close to 1.5 crores on this SUV, it is still best enjoyed from here up front. Both these seats get ventilation and massage function, and you also get four-way adjustable lumbar support along with memory function, a blessing for your back. The fit and finish is superior. You'll just look at these wood panels along with uh, these aluminum inlays, certainly premium. Open this and you can access your Type-C port and the wireless charger along with the cup holders. You also get multifunctional steering wheel which is wrapped in Artico man-made leather. And finally, my favorite bit, a panoramic sunroof which you can open with a slide of your finger. However, the party piece over here is the dashboard. Yes, this gets the 56-inch MBUX hyperscreen which combines a 12.3-inch driver instrument cluster, a main 17.7-inch OLED display right at the center which is the main command center and is loaded with wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Navigation, Connected Car Tech and lots of in-car functions. And finally, you get this, a 12.3 inch OLED panel for the front passenger as well, which allows them to control the music and play videos as well. Now, this is paired to a 710 watt 15 speaker Burmester 3D surround sound system, which comes with Dolby Atmos. So yes, as I told you, this is the party piece. However, to ensure that the driver is not distracted by the passenger screen, there are cameras built into the instrument cluster which monitor the driver's attentiveness. So, if you look away from the road for more than 3 seconds, the passenger screen will dim automatically. That's certainly a cool failsafe. However, if you like to be chauffeured around, then the rear seat is not bad either. 
this is set to my driving position and as you can see i have ample leg and knee room good enough headroom as well and yes the under thigh support could have been better but this is not bad at all you also get central armrest with cup and mobile holders then you get four zone climate control so all four passengers yes this is suited for four people all four passengers can set the temperature according to their needs having said that i wish mercedes had offered things like reclining rear seats window blinds and a multimedia unit at the back at least as an option to improve rear seat experience for customers who like to be chauffeured around as for safety features this eq suv gets a ton of features yes you get nine airbags as standard along with it you get the usual features like 360 view camera uh, seat belt reminder high speed alert and the works but along with it you now also get level 2 adas which includes uh, collision mitigation lane keep assist parking assist but with that you also get active distance assist what this does that is that you can select a distance that you want to keep with other cars on the road the car in front of you and the vehicle will maintain that distance irrespective of the road condition it could be highways these twisties like this and the vehicle will maintain that distance with the vehicle in front of you now the eqe we get in india is the top spec eqe 504 matic and uh, this comes with a 90.6 kilowatt hour battery which is a lithium ion battery and it sends power to dual motors one up front and one at the back combined these motors produce a peak output of 402 brake horsepower whereas the torque output stands at a monstrous 858 newton meters now these are very good numbers and they show because this 2.6 ton SUV can go from 0 to 100 in 4.9 seconds whereas the top speed is limited to 210 kilometers per hour so those are certainly good numbers and it feels fun to drive despite its weight it doesn't feel like a sluggish SUV it feels fun it feels quick it feels fast in addition to aerobatic suspension the EQE also comes with some off-road functions this includes the transparent bonnet a virtual view calculated from camera images which shows you the area directly in front of the car now in terms of ride and handling this is certainly a very good SUV it feels like a mercedes in all regards uh, the ride quality is plush it is supple and you do not feel any kind of the small undulations on the road you don't really feel them it is it soaks them up really nicely even the bigger ones it handles pretty well and with regards to handling the suv can handle like a champ you get enough confidence to take on even the corners at high speeds and that is saying something now one thing that i think could have been better in this electric suv are the brakes yes uh, these do not impart a lot of confidence especially when you are doing high speeds at these twisty roads uh, there is some lack of bite the progression also could have been better and as for the nvh levels of the suv it is pretty silent the insulation is done nicely uh, you barely hear any kind of road noise the only noise that you can hear is a bit of tire noise and that is saying something the eqe 504 matic suv comes with a claimed range of 550 km on the wltp cycle so i would expect a real world range of at least 450 km on a single charge you can use up the battery from 10 to 100% in 9.5 hours using the 11 kw onboard charger however a 100 kw dc fast charger can give you 80% charge in little over 30 minutes As for the EQE's max charging capacity, it can handle up to 170 kilowatts of DC fast charging. At 1 crore 39 lakh rupees, the Mercedes-Benz EQE 504 Matic is certainly an expensive car, even more so compared to some of its rivals like the Audi Q8 e-tron, the BMW iX, and the Jaguar I-Pace. But we know one thing for sure. there will be takers for this electric mercedes and that's because the eqe offers some of the nicest luxury creature comforts and tech the performance is really good 
and it is capable of handling rough roads without any fuss. So if you are planning to jump onto the sustainable bandwagon and looking for a do-it-all luxury electric SUV, the EQE is certainly worth considering.